Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Netflix channel. Today, I'm going to be unboxing the Gundam Fairness Rinashkita. I don't know if I pronounce it like this or not, but I prefer this pronunciation. So, for the Master Great Bill Fighters, you know, right now we have a couple of them. We got the Zengok Asray, the Universe Booster, the Bill Strike, Bill Mark II, x -Sheer Dark Matter, and the amazing x -Sheer at the Premium Bandai line. Personally, Bandai, I'm telling you that I'm still waiting my camp of amazing and the Gym Sniper K9. But I doubt you will do it or not because I knew Bandai so well. They're not going to release Master Grade at the correct time. So maybe in the future, I will never see a camp of amazing and Gym Sniper K9. But personally, I'm waiting these two Master Grade right here. So back to the topic. Today, we are going to be unboxing this gunplay right here. The box art right here is actually taken from a really famous scene of the Bill Fighters. During the last battle, the Profsky Corps was out of control and everybody picked up their gamba and they went in and tried to stop it. This is the scene of the box art right here. So you can see that we can see a lot of allies at the background right here. For example, you can see the Stabio Strike and then this is the Build Mark II. And then we got the Zengok Astra, the bad guy free, and then the, what's this? Oh, the SD Knight Gundam. And then we got the Miss Sasabi and the Kirara Gabira Tetella. Let's pick it up and look at the side right here. So first at the side, we have a little bit of description about the uh, mobile suit itself. And then, you know, MSMO, MMO, transformation, straight up details. And then, you know, at the other side right here, we got the weapons, the accessories, and they also mentioned that they got a stand in the kit as well. So let's take the runners out and have a look at it. As usual, we're going to start with the instruction menu first. So first, we can see, you know, the good old box out again. Let's flip it open. And then you can see the description of the Venice British guitar. Again, when I'm doing Master Grade unboxing, I always want to say this. Master Grade instruction menu is really interesting and they design really well. One day, I really hope that high grade and the real grade got like a standard like this even though you know they might be different grades so they don't get this treatment but i'm still hoping that one day every high grade every real grade no matter they are premium bandai or regular release they will still have this type of quality in the instruction menu i was hoping that one day i can see the instruction menu to be interesting master grade instruction menu always gave me the surprise so let's keep flipping you know, just quickly flip through it because, oh, now, yeah, this is the part that I said is interesting because they gave you the storyline, the color guide, and they also gave you the weapon instruction, weapon instruction and the flight mode instruction right here. This is why I said it's interesting. Now, take a look at this. It's like you got a little bit of understanding of this gambler and not just building it because it's a gambler. You got a little bit of knowledge to understand. So keep flipping, this is the transformation mode. Seems like the transformation is pretty easy. And then we got the decals, decals marking back here. And this will be the standing position. And that's it for the instruction menu. So take a look at the first runner right here. This is the E runner. We got two of them. So uh, mainly it's going to be the legs part and part of the rival. Or oh, it actually might be the wings. And these three pieces right here, this might be the... Our arms part, these two right here, I assume is going to be the shoulder. Shoulder, yes. We got a G runner right here. This is the triple X G universal runner. So all you can see right here is the inner frame of the entire mobile suit right here. And then we also got a little bit of hand option right here. We got the J1 and J2 runner. So let's just take J1 as the example right here. So J1 right here, you can see the wings at the backpack. And then maybe this is the part of the... Oh, wait. Oh, it's... Does it include the feet or not? Um, It's not really hard. It's very hard. So this is the feet part, I remember. And this is the torso part. And then two pieces right here, they were the head. We got the F runner right here. This F runner came from the Master Grade 1 to 100 Wing Gundam, uh, the TV version, I think. 
Yes. So this can take the inner frame again. And then we also got the handpiece armor right here and the thrusters. So I'm not exactly sure how many parts will be left out. So it's very hard for me to make the prediction. So take a look at the D runner right here. First, we can clearly see there's two part of figures right here. And then we got the skirt armor and then we got the uh, we got the shield part right here, aka the nose of the MA form. And then these two part right here, mm, maybe is the wings part again. And then the rest right here is very hard for me to judge, except this antenna right here. We got the B runner again. The B runner contains uh, the inner frame again. So as I just said, the F runner from the Master Grey uh, Wing Gundam is not going to be in use a lot because we got like an entirely new frame right here. We got the A runner right here. Wow, really colorful. We can see the beam effect parts of the beam saber. And then we can see some clear parts for the chest and probably the shield and also the head. We can see some yellow part for the overall bodies. Uh, for example, this will be the... Um, oh, which part is this? Uh, I can't remember, but whatever. And then this will be the chest part. Um, we got the large piece right here on the shield and then the rest of it. Uh, I pretty much forgot it. And this will be the soldiers, so, uh, shoulders. And this will, the rest of this, this is a body armor. Body armor, um, this might be the waist, I think. And this is the shoulders, I mean, I think. Yeah, and this will be the gigantic piece on the shield. So we got two C runners. This is the inner frame again, but you know, we can clearly tell that it's the legs inner frame because we can see the shape of it as well. Now these three pieces right here, they are the action base piece. So there's not much things to, to talk about because honestly, who doesn't own an action base? So we got two X runners right here. The, yeah. The X runner is from the Triple XG Universal runner again. So again, you can see there's a lot of in frames right here, but I assume half of them is not going to be in use. I assume. we got the I1 and I2 runner. So let's take I1 as the example. The I1 runner contains the green part of the MS, aka the wings part and the um, the lower leg armor, the knees, and then the overall torso and also, um, you know, just wings. So. You know, it's very hard for me to make the prediction because I never built this MS. Got the poly caps right here. We have two beam evac parts right here. The beam clock, I think. And then lastly, we have this marking decal right here. So the marking decal is not going to be too much. So don't be lazy and put them on. You know, I was talking to myself and I'm talking to you as well. So don't be lazy and just put them on. And that will be for the whole unboxing video. Thank you guys for watching this unboxing video. And I'll see you at the review video, maybe coming up next week or maybe two weeks later. So this will be the end of the, the unboxing video. Thank you guys for watching this. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more contents. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And also hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. And I'll see you in the next review. Goodbye.